Happening today in the COVID pandemic, a new policy kicking in for students in Dallas ISD having to do with the district's mask mandates. Suzanne Bruner joins us live outside Gaston Middle School in Dallas and Susanna change from the way things have been for quite a while there. Yeah, some big changes this morning, Mark. Good morning to you. So the district's mask mandate, it's been in effect for about since the very start of this year. And now wearing a mask will be a recommendation instead. This new policy, it actually takes effect today, and it's the first time in more than a year that masks will be optional. When Superintendent Michael Lina Osa put the mask mandate in place last August, this sparked a heated debate and a legal battle because he went against Governor Greg Abbott's executive order banning mask mandates. And other schools across the state even considered mask mandates of its own too. Now, anytime a district makes a decision like this, it considers how many COVID cases the county is dealing with. And after the CDC loosened its mask guidance Friday, so did Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins, no longer requiring masks in public settings except in jails, homeless shelters, long term care facilities and health care settings. Now take a look here at this map. This is where we stand in our four major counties right now. You can see Dallas, Tarrant, Collin and Denton counties are all at the medium threat level. In fact, the guidelines suggest 70% of the country could stop wearing masks. Now, despite COVID cases and hospitals, hospitalizations plummeting. Keep in mind that there is still a federal mask mandate in effect, which means you still have to wear a mask when you are on a bus, a train or an airplane. And this is all going to expire March 18th, Mark.